Alright, I managed to re-watch the Microsoft press conference in between the EA and Ubisoft ones, so here's my quick thoughts. First of all, what I found most hilarious, or perhaps sad, and I'm not really sure which, is the fact that Microsoft completely did not acknowledge the new Kinectless Xbox One that's coming out fairly soon, I believe. I don't know why, maybe they just didn't feel like admitting the Kinect's failure for all the world to see at their press conference, which is pretty much their biggest moment of the year. But yeah, that was pretty, uh, well, make of that what you will. Anyway, I'll grab my notes. So, first of all, Call of Duty. whoop the frickin do It kind of, uh, Call of Duty's going into the future now, it seems, and I saw some mech suits, I saw some jetpacks or jump boots or whatever. So basically, they're ripping off Titanfall now. And of course, Microsoft bought temporary exclusivity for the Call of Duty DLC. No surprise there, they've been doing that for years. Uh, new Forza Motorsport. No surprise there. Uh, let's see what else, what else? Oh yes, the new shooter game, I believe, from the people behind Left 4 Dead called Evolve. It's like four people versus one giant monster, and it looks pretty interesting. I might be picking that up. And guess what? Microsoft bought temporary exclusivity for that game's DLC as well. Oh, Microsoft, if only you put that money towards actually making games instead of buying exclusivity for DLC. Ah, boy, oh boy. But yeah, Evolve definitely looks interesting. Problem, though, it's not an Xbox One exclusive. It's also on PS4, and I'm pretty sure it's also going to be on PC. Uh, the new Assassin's Creed, also multi-platform. Apparently with co-op gameplay now, and it looked pretty interesting. I am kind of going to miss Assassin's Creed 4's pirate setting, but I think this new game has potential. It's also set in France, so all the assassination targets will likely surrender before you assassinate them. Uh, oh yeah, Dragon Age Inquisition, which I talked about during the E3 conference reaction already. Guess what? Microsoft bought temporary exclusivity for that game's DLC as well. Uh, then they uh, actually showed an exclusive, Sunset Overdrive, made by the people from, I think... Ratchet and Clank. I don't know why they're making Xbox exclusives game all games all of a sudden instead of Sony exclusive ones, but whatever. I will say that game looked pretty interesting. It looked fun, it looked exuberant, it looked colorful. It's a damn shame that's exclusive to Xbox One. Also some Dead Rising 3 DLC, which was really insane. Like all all sorts of famous Capcom characters and franchises brought into Dead Rising 3. Pretty nifty. Make an updated version and bring that game to PS4, please, Capcom. Of course, they had to have some Kinect bullshit in there, even though the Kinect has pretty much been taken out back and shot. So, a new Dan Dance Central game. So, yeah, if you care about dancing in front of a camera in your living room, you're gonna go crazy with that stuff. They also had some sort of co-op Fable game, which I thought looked pretty interesting. I've always kind of liked the Fable games. In my opinion, they're the best exclusive franchise Microsoft has. And then, of course, we got to the Halo. Apparently, they're making some sort of Halo movie franchise or Halo TV series or whatever. And there's Halo 5 coming out, I think, at the end of next year or whatever. And Halo 1 through 4 ported to the Xbox One. We get it, Microsoft. You like Halo. You have other franchises, though. Not many, but you have other franchises. Uh, they also mentioned some indie stuff that I really didn't care about. And then some more multi-platform games like Tomb a Tomb Raider sequel, which is pretty cool. The Witcher 3, which I thought looked hella sweet. Definitely will be playing that on PS4. Uh, Ubisoft's The Division, which had some hysterical commentary to it. I'm pretty sure actual people don't talk like that. Uh, some sort of weird... This was also an exclusive, I think Phantom Dust it was called, it looked really weird. Some sort of colorful people fighting each other in the middle of a ruined city or whatever. No gameplay whatsoever. Same thing goes for the other two exclusives they showed, a new Crackdown game. Which is kind of like an open world, I think super power person game, kind of like Infamous. And Scalebound from Platinum Games. The guys behind Bayonetta, Wonderful 101, Metal Gear Rising. Don't know why they're making Xbox exclusives all of a sudden. They probably received a big bang of money from Microsoft. But it kind of looked like a guy who kind of looked like 
Dante from Devil May Cry fighting some monsters that look like they came out of Monster Hunter. It was weird. But again, no gameplay, so all we have to go off of is some sort of CGI trailer. Overall, I'd say the conference was a huge disappointment. I mean, they showed some new stuff, but none of it was actual gameplay. Pretty much half of the conference was on multi-platform games, which are going to be better on PS4 anyway. Eh, yeah. Not really... It didn't really convince me to go out and buy an Xbox One, at least. If anything, made me... Just... Well, maybe I'll buy an Xbox One if the price drops like 200 or something. No way in hell am I paying 400 bucks for that thing while I got a PS4. Anyway, that's all for now. Ubisoft Press Conference is starting in about 20 minutes, so... Gonna get ready for that one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.